Right, so this door then. Why is this door getting people so excited? I hear you typing. I don't know either. So let us go through a couple of theories and try to answer this question. I've posted a comment on the subreddit asking people for their opinions on this matter. So join me as I take a dive into what people have put. So yes, I did put a post on the subreddit asking people what they thought the door could be. The first one by Future Renwire. All I can think of is some kind of new unit or faction is waiting behind the door. Wilhelm has teased the new fantasy faction. I think it makes perfect sense for a fantasy faction to be released on Medieval. So this is, I've seen this a lot. People do seem to go towards the fantasy faction. I haven't actually seen any teasers on Twitter from Wilhelm. So I'm just going to have to take this guy's word for it. But I think this does pretty much sum up people's general opinion on it. But we'll keep going. Although there is one reply to this. And it's, I'm expecting the door would be at the top of some kind of underground slash cave map. So I guess this supports the theory that perhaps there's just a new map. No new units or anything, just a new map. Or like an extension of the map, which... There's another comment that does kind of relate to this at the end, so we'll get back to that. And there's another comment here, someone just saying, I haven't played the game in a while, what's going on? This basically summed up my initial opinion of this. <clears throat> I was just thinking to myself that, well, what if they just made it glow just, you know, to make it look better? And people are just taking this out of context, but you know, people are very not kind enough to uh, tell them. We've got one from Captain Calzone. Brilliant username, by the way. I'm pretty sure the same door is under Spooky 1. So what if you can open both? And the Spooky door gives Dark Peasant and the Normal door gives Super Peasant. Maybe they can open when you beat all the campaigns, or... Also, there's not going to be a faction behind it. It could also just never open and just be there forever as a cool secret. So there's a little bit to unpack here, so we'll start with the beginning. So I haven't actually checked if there is one underneath the spooky map, but there will be a little edit saying if there is or not. Or whether it's glowing or not, because the maps are the same, so of course the doors can be there, but... I'm going to check whether the door's glowing or not. And he says that one will give you the Dark Peasant and the Super Peasant. The only issue I have with these two units is not only are they pre-made and pre-existing from the Alpha, but also they're just hidden units. And I doubt Landfall would go through all of this effort to make a glowing door just to include some hidden units. And in the last bit, it could just be a secret. This is what I'm tending to lean more towards, that they just kind of made it to make the map look a bit better. We've got a comment from uh, a short guy. That just says, a uh, new faction is coming out of that door, something magical. So I guess he's also in support of the fantasy faction. So there is one here from Dark Ninja, which relates to the comment earlier. That for all we know, it could mean interactive maps. Opening slash closing doors, buttons, levers, time switches, etc. So it does relate to, you know, what, maybe there's another map underneath it. You know, perhaps you walk up to it with a unit, press a button, the door opens, and there's like a whole other subsection of the map underneath it that you could explore. We've got a comment here that... It confuses me slightly, so uh, if I could uh, get a little explanation, I'll flash it up on screen. We're all gonna die if that shield that protects our dimension breaks. Uh, scientists are still working around the clock to try and decipher this man's words. And we've got hit one here from Clay Baby, who is very passionate about the faction, the fantasy faction. And uh, look, these comments make me laugh. Finally, the Shrek campaign of our dreams. I would be like, I would be down for a, a Shrek campaign. So yeah, just. A couple good theories, actually. The one I like the most is the one about the interactive doors. I think that's the one I'm going to lean towards the most out of all of them, because it is only a small change in the map, although I could be proven wrong. I think the main arguments here is that it's the fantasy faction, or it's just, you know, an added part of the map. Or it's just an added part of the map that Lanfell added to, you know, make the map look cooler, or, you know, behave cooler, that kind of thing. So, yeah, that's about, that's about it, really. So, thank you for everyone who did leave a comment on that post. And I guess, yeah, just to sum up my own opinion of it, I I tend to move towards the belief that it is just a cool map change. You know, it's a just an aesthetic change to make the map look a bit better, just to spruce up the map a little bit. And then I guess if that's not the case, then it's probably a, a faction. Because, you know, like I said, I doubt they would go through all this effort to make a secret door that, you know, hype it up a bit and then eventually open it. For it to be just a couple units, I doubt they would go for that much effort just for that small little reward. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, do leave a like on the video. And perhaps subscribe for more quality content.